Hello everybody, today I'd like to introduce you to our new app called MuseMage. It's a revolutionary camera app that provides both many filters and functions that no other camera app can do, such as image stabilization, color replacement, and stop motion photo taking. Now let me show you some of our features in action. First off, we have HDR in both true and vivid form, which makes for a nice afternoon picture. Next, we have image stabilization. See how my hands are shaky right now? All you do is turn it on, and it fixes that nice and neat. Now, let me show you some of our color lens filters. We have many, made by our famous photographer, which we have M, Enamel, Memory, Wagashu, Maze, and Adventure. Now, let me show you some of our artificial lens filters. We have many such as Tile Shift, Fish Eye, Flooding Effect, and Sketch. And the best thing is that we can combine both our artificial lens filter and our color filter so we have a nice finished product, a nice black and white sketch outline. And all this can be done in both real time and photo and video mode. Now let me introduce you our Beautify function. All this can be done in real time and it's done by using our phone's special algorithm. To enable it, you just tap on the DTF and it gives us four options, light, natural, smooth, and slim. Each one is stronger than the other one. So let's go, let's choose natural. It eliminates most of my pores and it makes my skin look really smooth. Now let's choose slim. Wow, it does make me look slimmer. Selective color makes you select any color in the picture or video and make that color stand out. To do that, you just click on the color dropper and pick a color. So let's say I really want the color red to stand out. I just tap on anything red and boom, the background turns black and white while the red stands out. Now let's choose replace color. So let's say I want to turn everything orange. I just move the color ranger. Then you tap on the blue screen. Then you pick a color for the background. It's best to use either a blue or a green background. And then the picture comes up. So now you can travel the world without leaving your home. Right, now I'd like to introduce to you our stop motion feature. For that, we just tap on stop. And uh, let's begin a new project. For that, we tap on the photo, on the photo icon in the bottom right. Tap on new project, the plus sign. And let's give it a name. Let's call it a new project. After that, we just tap on new project and touch the camera icon on the left. Now we can begin to take the pictures. So with the stop motion uh, feature, we can use it to make nice uh, frame by frame pictures or videos. And we can even control the frames per second right here. So let's see it at five. And if there's any picture that came out bad, we could easily delete it by selecting it like this and deleting it. And after that, we could export it to the iPhone's main photo or video library. Now we are going to show you our time lapse effect. To start, we just tap on the clock. The difference between our time lapses, our clock starts from 1x and goes all the way up to 320x. For this video, we will choose 6. And we'll also choose an artificial lens filter as well. Let's choose tile shift. With just two fingers, we can easily control the width and the placement of the tile shift. Once it's in place, we can begin recording. Now let me show you manual mode. To enable it, you just tap on the right icon all the way to the end. In manual mode, 
you can adjust the ISO and exposure time. The higher the ISO, the brighter the image will be. By changing the exposure time, the image will become bright as well. It will also take longer to record each frame. So let's set the exposure time to half a second and let's set the ISO value to 32. Now we have a nice light track effect. Let's start recording. <laughs> 